Windows 11 is packed with a ton of features for all types of users, many of which are non-essential or not needed for most people. So coming up to help eliminate distractions, get rid of clutter, reclaim system resources, and to make your computing experience more enjoyable, I'll show you how to disable those features in Windows 11 that may not line up with your computing needs. Let's get started. While the search box in the taskbar is useful to quickly search your computer, it is redundant since it's also easily accessible in the start menu at the top. If you're the type of person that doesn't like the search box taking up real estate in the taskbar, to get rid of it or make it smaller, open the Settings app by right-clicking on the Start button and selecting Settings. The keyboard shortcut to open Settings is the Windows key plus I. In the left pane, go to Personalization. On the right, scroll down and click Taskbar. In the Search setting, to eliminate the search box, select Hide. If you just want the search box to take up less space in the taskbar, your other choices are search icon only, and you'll see now it's only taking up one space, and your other option is search icon and label. If you've used prior versions of Windows, you're probably used to the left alignment on the taskbar of the start button and icons. With Windows 11, that all changed. Center alignment is now the default. To disable the center alignment in settings, Let's go back to Personalization, scroll down and select Taskbar. All the way at the bottom, click Taskbar Behaviors. For Taskbar Alignment, select Left. You'll now see that everything is aligned to the left. If you ever decide later on that you want to give Center Alignment a try, it's easy enough to switch back. While the widgets board on the far left of the taskbar is quite useful to get information quickly from the apps that you have installed, many find the news feed for Microsoft's MSN network to be useless and a distraction. To disable it, select Settings here in the upper right corner, click on Show or Hide Feeds, then turn off Microsoft Start, and then click Turn Off. When you reopen the widgets board, you'll notice that the news feed is gone. Having apps that launch at startup can make it a quicker process to access those apps. Recently, I covered in another video that disabling some of these apps can help to speed up your boot time and reclaim system resources. To disable apps that launch at startup, in Settings, select Apps on the left, then on the right, click on Startup. Now go through the list and turn off those apps that you know you won't need at startup. When working, those notifications that show up in the bottom right corner of the screen can be a huge distraction. To disable notifications in Settings, select System, then click on Notifications. Toggle the switch for notifications to turn it off, then turn on the switch for Do Not Disturb to have notifications directly sent to the Notification Center to not distract you. Targeted advertising in Windows keeps getting worse. I went into this in more detail in another video. For this video, I'll keep it simple by disabling the so-called feature of having a unique advertising ID to show you personalized ads. In Settings, select Privacy and Security, then click on General. Turn off Let App Show Me Personalized Ads by using my advertising ID. Microsoft also collects a ton of data on how you use your computer and programs. As they would say, it's to improve the user experience over time. To limit Microsoft's data collection, in Settings, select Privacy and Security, then go to Diagnostics and Feedback. Toggle the switch off for Send Optional Diagnostic Data. You can't do this on a local account on your computer. You'll need to be logged in to the primary account to do this. When you open the Start menu, below the Pinned Apps is a Recommended section that will show you recently opened files and apps that you recently installed. If you don't want recommendations being shown in the Start menu, open Settings. On the left, select Personalization. Then on the right, scroll down and click on Start. Turn all of these off. 
Show recently added apps. Show most used apps. Show recently opened items in Start, Jump List, and File Explorer. And show recommendations for tips, shortcuts, new apps, and more. If you use your computer for work or school, removing the date and time from the system tray can help you to be more focused on your task instead of watching the clock. If you're OCD like me, you'll want to turn this off. To disable date and time in settings, select Time and Language. Then click on Date and Time. Turn off Show Date and Time in the System Tray. If you use the search box in the taskbar, an annoyance is that they now include search highlights from Bing along with other suggestions here on the right. When most people do a search, they're just trying to find a file or something else on their computer. To disable this feature, that can be a distraction to some, click the Options menu in the upper right, then select Search Settings. Doing this will open the Settings app to Privacy and Security, Search Permissions. Scroll down to More Settings and turn off Show Search Highlights. Now when you go to the search box, the Bing crap and other suggestions have been removed. Here's a bonus one for you. Microsoft's AI Assistant Copilot can help with a variety of tasks on your computer to make you more productive. For those of you out there that don't want to use it, I'll show you the steps to disable it from your computer. To do this, your version of Windows needs to be Windows 10 or 11 Pro or Enterprise. This can't be done with the Home Edition. Do a search for Group Policy Editor, select Edit Group Policy. In User Configuration, click Administrative Templates. On the right, double-click Windows Components. Scroll down and double-click Windows Copilot. For testing purposes, I'll be leaving Copilot turned on. To continue disabling Windows Copilot, right-click on Turn Off Windows Copilot and select Edit. Select Enabled, then click Apply and OK. After which, you'll need to restart your computer for the changes to take effect. Thanks for watching. If this video was useful for you, give it a thumbs up and share it with others. On your computer, what features do you disable to improve your overall experience? Let us know in the comments. And if you haven't done so already, subscribe to our channel and click the bell to not miss out on our latest videos for Windows 11 and other tech-related stuff.